its seventh year, Trinity Christian Schools holding its science and art expo exposition, rather, assisting the 120 plus students at the school to gain a greater understanding of the world through exploration, creation, and innovation. The event was opened by head of the Anglican Diocese, the White Reverend Bishop Leish Boyd. The bishop, along with the school's principal, Veronica McElworth, Michael White, rather, says the event is exciting and important in helping students to gain a deeper understanding of who they are and knowing the history of this country. Education is not just learning how to read, write, and compute, but education is about the education of the entire child. What that therefore means is you have to teach the child about his or her world, you have to teach a child about his or her society, and about his or her culture because all of those things form and influence the whole child. The students are really excited. They look forward especially to the science. And when I told them that we were going to add the National People's Project, that really, you know, excited them more. Students from grades 2 to 6 participated in the expo, among them 3rd grader Sydney Wims and 5th grader Zion Wilson. Sydney was a mastermind behind a Dragon Ball Z-inspired PVC skeleton nicknamed Foot Jetter. And Zion completed a top project on former Prime Minister, the late Sir Lyndon Penling, who she first learned about at age 5. Me and my dad found it online and we made it out of pipes and other clothing. We cut the pipes, we go into the store, we borrowed it, we put it together, we glued it. I, pretty, I think for me it's pretty fun. When I first found about my project, I was wondering what, who should I pick? And I remember, I should do um, so Lyndon O'Pinlin. So me and my mom, we went online, we found so many things about him, and I just wrote it down. But he was born on March 22nd, 1930, I think. Um, he's married to, to the Governor General, the former gov Governor General. 